Hi, my name is Dr. Jay Desai and I welcome you all to this eighth video on gauge series for metallurgical engineering. In this video, I'm talking about surface defects. That is material surface, grain boundary and stacking fault. So what are surface defects? Surface defects are planes or boundaries which separate a material into regions. And these individual regions have same crystal structure but different orientation. So any plane or boundary which separates a material into regions having same crystal structure but different orientation is what we call as surface defect. Now, how are they formed? or what leads to the formation of surface defects. So these surface defects may be introduced in a material either by processing of materials during or during surface finishing of materials or during the service life of the material. Now, what are different types of surface defects? So mainly we talk about three types of surface defects, material surface, Grain boundary. In grain boundary, there is also another two types of grain boundary, high angle grain boundary and low angle grain boundary. And the third one is stacking fault. So let's talk about the material surface. Why the material surface is called as a defect? So surface of material is called as a defect because crystal abruptly ends over here. Consider this example. Here, this is a material and these are your atoms. Now, if you see inside of the material, suppose we take this atom. Now, this atom is pulled by four atoms which are surrounding, this, which are surrounding it and they are pulled in an equal and opposite direction. So, the net force acting on this atom is zero. And that is why it is easier for the atom to maintain an equilibrium state. But if you see the surface atom, this atom is pulled by this atom and this atom and it is pulled by this atom but there is no upward force. So there is a force imbalance and since there is a force imbalance, it leads to disrupted coordination and atomic bonding. And this disruption in coordination and atomic bonding leads to enhanced reactivity and that is why the surface of material is considered as a surface defect. Now, the second type of surface defect is grain boundary. So we know grains, that grains are those portions in the material which are crystalline. And here in one particular grain, the atomic arrangement is identical. So let's take this example. Here we have three grains, grain A, grain B and grain C. Grain A, the atomic arrangement is in this direction. Grain C, the atomic arrangement is in this direction. And grain B, the atomic arrangement is in this direction. But there is a boundary present between individual grains. And this boundary or this surface is what we call as grain boundary. So grain, grain boundary is a surface which separates the individual grains. Now, the third type of surface defect is stacking fault. Suppose we have perfect crystal like this, say CBA, CBA kind of crystal structure. And here, instead of C plane, we have A plane. There is some error in the stacking sequence. Then this kind of defect is what we call as stacking fault. And these stacking faults are seen in close pack FCC planes. Now, why they are called defects? Because they affect the slip process and the deformation mechanisms in a material. So when we talk about uh, surface defects, we mostly talk about material surface, grain boundary and stacking fault because these are the major defects found in any material. Now, let's talk about how the grain size affects the properties of the material especially the yield strength. Yield strength is the point where stress is no longer proportional to strain or where the plastic deformation begins to happen. 
Now there is a relation between yield strength sigma y and grain size d, which is given by Hallpatch relation. Sigma y equals to sigma naught plus k d minus half. That is sigma y is inversely proportional to grain size. Lesser the grain size, more will be the yield strength of the material. That is what we mean by Hallpatch relation. And this is a figure which shows the relationship between yield strength and grain diameter for cartridge bridge. You can see that as we are decreasing the grain size, the yield strength of this uh, cartridge brass is increasing. So this is all I have about the surface defects. I hope you like my video and to watch more videos and support my work, please subscribe to my channel. In the next video, I will be talking about diffusion and specifically I will be talking about the introduction of diffusion, the cause of diffusion and the applications where diffusion is involved. And if the viewers and subscribers have some suggestions, they are welcome to give suggestions in the comment section and uh, if possible, I will make the videos on that. And if you have any suggestions, queries on the content or possible opening collaboration, then you can reach out to me on my LinkedIn page, email and YouTube. Thank you.